A new tonight, a film producer from Grand Rapids is heading to the Sundance Film Festival with a movie made in Michigan. It's his third trip to the Independent Film Festival. 13 on your side's Andrea Flores joins us. And Andrea, the producer says this film has a, a kind of commonality many of us can relate to. Charlie Jashad Kambui Belche says the film is thought provoking and shows us a man's journey through grief, mental health, and the family he has to support him. It was the Super Bowl for filmmaking. In just a few weeks, film producer Jashad Kambui Belche is heading to Park City, Utah for the Sundance Film Festival. It's called To Live and Die and Live. It's based upon a true story of a, a filmmaker who travels home after losing uh, a family member and all the trials and tribulations that come um, when you deal with, with burying a, a loved one and the family dynamics and all the behind the scenes things that happen. Belshay says the movie has something everyone can relate to. It was all filmed in Detroit with a lot of the um, cast and crew were from Grand Rapids and Detroit. So it's a full Michigan made type of production. So it, I have great honor and, and joy in knowing that we did this here. And that's important for him as a West Michigan native himself. I grew up in a, a special time of Grand Rapids in the early 90s. I attended Ottawa Hills and in, in Creston. Coming from Grand Rapids and, and having that pedigree of going to Ottawa Hills, like you know how to make things happen no matter what. And I think that Grand Rapids really, you know, helped build me to have a I'm never going to give up type of mentality. Belche says he's excited for the film to premiere at Sundance and for the important conversations that follow. This film touches on mental health, addiction, as well as health negligence and breast cancer. So I think this is an opportunity for us to be able to utilize art to, to foster much needed conversations that will impact our society. And I'm most excited about that. So at Sundance, the film will have the opportunity for a distributor to buy the rights to it. And from there, it would come out next summer or fall. It can be seen during the actual festival, though, in a few weeks in person or virtually from January 24th through the 29th. Charlie.